are seeing more beaches across southwest Florida open back up for the first time since the hurricane. But unfortunately, we are also tracking more red tide. Let's get right to Fox Force John Barron. He is live this morning at the Bonita Beach Dog Park to show us how things are looking at a beach that just reopened. Yeah, so one of many beaches hopefully going to be opening up back here in the month of March and talking about what we're seeing here at Dog Park as we get the opportunity here at Bonita Beach to see one of those many here in Lee County continue to open back up. And like you said, it's going to be getting a little bit warmer here as those months continue to roll in. So hopefully we'll be able to see a lot more of these continue to open up as we continue to welcome some many more of those uh, snowbirds making their way back down here as well. But Let's talk about the good news as well after Hurricane E and some of those reopening of those beaches this morning. Dog Park isn't the only one that's really opening back up. It's also Boca Grande Beach as well. Both of those both opening back up, but even with those beaches opening back up, it doesn't mean it'll be a great time to go. Red tide continues to impact our areas as we start to grow closer to those warmer months. Now, according to the latest map from FWC, it shows that a lot of our areas are currently covered in either medium or high levels of red tide, and we continue to see those new levels of red tide making its way into our Collier area. But the next update is coming out tomorrow. Now, as far as other Lee County beaches, here's a look right now that you're taking a look at on your screen, a timeline of the month of March. And around the middle of the month, the county plans to open Allison Hanger Up Beach. Uh, that'll be coming up here in Captiva, along with Bonita Beach, San Carlos Bay and Bunch Beach also making their way here on South Fort Myers. Now, of course, we're going to have all of the details as much more about red tide as well coming up later on this morning in our coverage, as well as on our website at fox4now.com. For now, live here in Bonita Beach, John Barron, Fox 4. All right, John, we're going to take it from here and talk about where the lows levels of red tide are in southwest Florida. And over the uh, past a week or so, we've seen those red tide uh, markers really increase here south into Collier County. That's why we're seeing the new alerts. We still have some red tide present along Rotunda and Placida there along Cape Hayes. And a little bit better news from Fort Myers Beach is some of that tide, uh, red tide, I should say, has been pushed to the south. And you can see from Pelican Bay all the way down towards Naples and Marco, uh, those medium concentrations. And over the next couple of days, our wind going to pick up and even this afternoon our winds going to be out of the southwest that takes those red tide toxins and pushes them on shore. That's when you start to get the respiratory issues. Uh, if you are sensitive, the beach is not the place for you to be here over the next couple of days.